Hello and welcome to Five Days of Culture. This is a video series where we highlight all the great communities, all the different cultures in Fresno County and the Central Valley all around us, and just celebrating our heritage and all the wonderful people that um, come to make us who we are. So uh, Five Days of Culture, this week we are celebrating um, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Uh, so we're doing a series of videos about that. You'll see links to the other ones. Definitely check those out. Um, but today we're going to talk about something that I love near and dear to my heart, which is poetry and one of, um, well, I believe is one of the most important Fresno poets. So sorry for not introducing myself. My name is James Tyner. I'm an adult services librarian for Fresno County Public Library. And I'm also a, a poet, Fresno's first poet laureate. And one of my favorite things about poetry is just learning about all the other great writers and just the wonderful things that are coming out of Fresno. Um, so I'm going to talk about one of our treasures today. We're going to talk about the poet Lawson Inada. Uh, Lawson Inada is of Japanese American heritage. He was born in Fresno, raised here in Fresno. Uh, his grandparents helped uh, found the Fresno Fish Market. His father was a dentist, his mother was a teacher, um, and his family was uh, put into Japanese internment camps. Uh, he was one of the youngest uh, uh, put into the camps at that time. Um, a lot of the writing he does is about that and his, his experiences during that time. Um, as he was older, he uh, went to Fresno State. I uh, believe his mother wanted him to become a doctor, and um, he ended up taking classes under Philip Levine and many of the other instructors and poets there at Fresno State, and he fell in love with poetry. Um, I remember Philip Levine telling a story about how he had to go talk to Lawson and Nada's mom uh, to convince her that it was okay for her son to become a poet and, and to, to go to these, uh, um, to these schools to, to learn how to do that. So, um, very much part of the Fresno history and Fresno tradition. Uh, he has... Um, Several books of poetry, Before the War, um, Poems as They Happen, Legends from Camp, uh, Just Into Nations, Drawing the Line. Uh, he's won a National Book Award, um, and in 2006 he served as Oregon's uh, Poet Laureate. Um, so just doing incredible things, uh, being a trailblazer and just someone for the rest of us poets to look up to, and very much uh, an important part of the Fresno story. Um, so definitely check out his work. We'll have links uh, below for you. You can see that and read up more about him. So I'm going to read a piece of his for you. And this will conclude our video, but let's read this. And um, keep in mind what, kind of what I mentioned to you about the, the Japanese internment camps and what his experiences were. and See how that plays into this poem. Um, you'll have a link below so you can click on it if you like and read along and, and, and follow. It's a, a great piece. And this is available on the poetryfoundation.org website. Uh, this is My Father and Myself Facing the Sun by Lawson Fusao Inara. We are both strong, dark, bright men. Though perhaps you might not notice, finding two figures flat against the landscape, like the shadowed backs of mountains. Which would not be far from wrong, for though we both have on western clothes, and he is seated on a yellow spool of emptied and forgotten telephone cable, and I recline on a green aluminum lounge. We are both facing into the August sun, as August as Hiroshima and the autumn. There are differences, however, if you care to discover. Coming close, respectfully, you must discover the landscape as you go. Come. It is in the eyes, the face, the way we would greet you, stumbling as you arrive. He is much the smooth, grass-brown slopes, reaching knee-high around you as you walk, I am the cracks of cliffs and gullies, pieces of secret deep in the back of the eye. But he is still my father, and I his son. After a while there is time to go fishing, both of us squatting on rocks in the dusk, leaving peaks and tree line responsible for light. There is a lake below, which both of us acknowledge by facing forward like the sun. Ripples of fish, moon, luminous insects, Frogs, owls, crickets at their sound. Deer, raccoon, badger come down to drink. At the water's edge, the children are fishing, casting the shadows from the enormous shoreline. Everything functions in the function of summer. And gradually, and not by chance, the action stops. The children hush back among rocks, and also watch, with nothing to capture but dusk. There are four of us, together among others. And I am not at all certain what all this means, and if it means anything, but feel with all my being that I must write this down. 
if I write anything. My father, his son, his grandsons, strong, serene. Night, 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 before the following morning. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this poem. Uh, this is My Father and Myself Facing the Sun by La Sinanada, uh, one of the great Fresno poets. Please check out more of his work, and thank you so much. This has been Five Days of Culture, and my name is James Tyner. Thank you. <laughs>